What is going on, guys? Snickle here, and today I have another trophy talk for you. This is going to be for the week of December 8th, 2019, and I do want to apologize before we start off yet again because I was planning on doing this video a few weeks ago. I, I know I missed a few weeks, but uh, I did go away for around Thanksgiving, and last week, uh, right when I came back from Thanksgiving, I had something happen. Someone in my family actually passed away um, very suddenly, and then we had to do the viewing and and the funeral and everything later in the week. So I, I really wasn't able to do too much during the nighttime last week, and, and it ended up being um, a lot going on. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for why I uh, I didn't upload in the past two weeks. I have been playing a decent amount of games, but really not too much stuff. Just a lot of easy stuff and trying to clean some things up there. But I, that's why I just want to let you know where I've been over the past few weeks. And I'm hoping that I can try to get back on a weekly uh, a weekly schedule with these videos because I know that you guys really do enjoy them and I enjoy making them, especially when I make progress in games. And that's what it comes down to is progress. But if I can remember correctly, let's go back a little bit. So uh, if I remember correctly from the last video, um, I think I was talking about like MK10 or something, but uh, the game that was at the bottom that I hadn't really touched yet was... Um, Band Hero, which is still down there, which I can talk about that. But before I talk about Horizon and Up, I do want to note, um, I think, I don't know if, if by the last video this was done, but in Far Cry 2, I have finished up all of the uh, multi-kills and I finished up all the reviving and everything. So the only thing that I have left in Far Cry 2 to finish up the multiplayer for that is just getting the rest of the kills, which just comes down to me just getting on and killing my alt and everything over and over again. So that's just going to come down to me playing whenever I can play. But everything in Far Cry 2 is done that I need other people for. So hopefully I'm, I'm hoping to get that done sooner rather than later, but uh, I just want to note I did do that. Then up next, uh, we have Horizon Zero Dawn. So I was able to finally finish the DLC in Horizon Zero Dawn. I think by the last video, I had finished all of the Frozen Wilds DLC, so I, I strictly just had to play through the new game plus on Ultra, and I think my goal when I made that last video was I wanted to do New Game Plus on Ultra and get it done before I left for Thanksgiving. Turns out that I played it later that night after I made that video, and I streamed it, and I literally got through like three quarters of the game, so I came back on Monday or Tuesday night or whatever, streamed it again for another hour or so, and finished it up. So got that done. That's pretty cool. That's one of those games that I have knocked off the list now that... um. I'm, I'm just glad to get done, and I had a lot of fun playing it. It was great to go back and play it. Then up next, we have uh, Puppeteer. Now, this one is kind of a curveball out of nowhere, and I haven't played it in a few weeks just because I haven't wanted to play it on stream. Actually, it's been probably about a week or so. But why, why Puppeteer came up is because after I finished Horizon Zero Dawn, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do on stream. I had a few games laid out that I wanted to do or a few games that I wanted to work towards, but it turns out that that's not really what people wanted to watch right then and there. Like I wanted to personally play through the Atlas Game of Thrones game because I started that a few months back, about a year ago actually. And uh, actually, I don't know if it's been a year, but I started it a while back and I was like, I really would like to finish it. But everyone was just like, no, I don't really want to watch that. And I was like, OK, so if you guys don't know what I do on stream when I finish a game and, and it's kind of like people are indecisive is, is I go and I have a full list of all my games that I own and I just pick a number, a random number. And then whatever it lands on is the game that I play. Now, I will admit that when I did it, there was a few things that happened. So when I did it, the first game that it picked was Mr. Massage, and that would have been a really easy platinum. But the reason I didn't do that is because I have a little thing going on with somebody right now where once I get to 200 platinums, I'm going to try to get to 300 platinums as fast as possible. So I have like 100 like easier platinums that I'm going to work towards. So Mr. Massage was on that. So then I rolled it again, and then when I rolled it again, I got a game, um, which I'm not sure if you guys know what it is. Uh, you probably do, but I got a game called Broforce, and if you guys know anything about Broforce, it's it's actually pretty a pretty difficult game, and to successfully play it and I get all the trophies done, I believe it's really easy to do uh, like online co-op, which I really don't have anyone to play the game with, so I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to rely on other people to uh, to get this done, so... That was kind of nixed. 
So then I did it again, and I know people were upset about that. They're like, oh, you bro, you rolled bro force. You have to play it. And I'm like, listen, I'm not doing it, okay? I'm going to tell you right now I can't do it, and I'm going to tell you right now I'm not going to rely on other people to play with to try to get the 100% done just because I rolled it in an RNG thing, okay? Not happening. So I rolled it again, and when I rolled it again, Puppeteer came up, so that's just what it is. I've been playing it on stream probably about... Uh, probably about halfway through the game so far so maybe like one or two more streams and i'll have it beat my goal is to to play it on stream beat the story and then after i beat the story go back and there's a lot of trophies for this game that uh that are i would be able to make guides for so i think that's what i'm gonna do is is do this on stream and then make guides for the rest of the trophies and then finish it up on stream later on obviously but i'd say one or two more streams with puppeteer and that'll be done so that's pretty cool then up next, we have Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Now, a while ago, I actually did the online for this, and I, I was glad to get it done. And then I was like, well, I did the online. Why don't I just get the platinum? So I started playing through. I played through the story, beat the story, um, got some random stuff done. And then I put the game down for a while because I was like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm not really burnt out, but like, eh, I really don't feel like playing this right now. So when I went away... On uh, Thanksgiving, I ended up not taking my PS3 or PS4 or anything, so I took my my Vita, and I was like, this is a perfect time to finish this up. So I ended up finishing that up down when I was um, away for Thanksgiving, and then there was a few things that I didn't finish down there that I that I just finished when I came home um, in the next few days. So I ended up getting the Platinum in Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, so that's pretty cool. Um but this is just going with like me wanting to platinum and 100% literally every single Assassin's Creed game like stackable whatever I want to do every single Assassin's Creed game that's the that's a goal of mine um up next we have the prices right decades this one so this one was another curveball out of um left field again that's not really possible but <laughs> um I played this a while back with cats and this guy black judas and the reason we played it is because there is some trophies where you need to play with four people or something online you have to win like five four player matches or something easy like that so went in did that easy peasy right but there's also some other things online that are kind of kind of stupid you could say um so there's some things that you can finish up, which is like simple things like just finishing uh, first in 10 multiplayer games, um, which I actually just got. I didn't even realize that. There's other another one for like playing 30 games online in any mode really easy. But but the kicker, after I do that, I'm, I'm basically done the online. But the only other thing I have to do online is this trophy right here. Drop it like it's hot. Plinko 1998, win 30,000 or more in one Plinko game mode or Plinko game online, any game mode. So the reason why this is so awful is because when you load into the game, so so you load up, right? You load the game up like you do any other game. You load into the game, and then you load into an online lobby. When the game then starts up, it puts you in a random decade, like 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. So I think there's like 70s, 80s, 90s. There's four decades you can go in into. So first of all, when you load into the game, you need to get into the 90s. That's step one. So you have a one in four chance of getting into the 90s. If you don't get into the 90s, you just quit out of the game. So if you get into the 90s, then you start the 90s up, right? You're probably like, great. Well, the problem is, is Plinko is only in 1998. So out of all of the, the years in the 90s, you need to then get 1998. So it's like super hard to get into 1998 to get Plinko. But then after the fact, then Plinko is like 100% a random game mode because what you do is you can uh, you can get as many Plinko chips. You can get five Plinko chips because you have to like something will come up on the screen. It'll be like, what, what's the price or whatever? And you have to say if the left or the right number is right. Well, that information is online. Like that's easy to find. So you're able to get as many Plinko chips as you want to. Where it becomes difficult is that you then have to drop the Plinko chips and you have to, it has to land on the $10,000 mark three times. So three out of your five Plinko chips need to land on this $10,000 mark. And I think that there's like, 
six or seven things that it can land on on the bottom. So then you got another chance. Then you got to basically land on that three times out of your five, and you have a one in seven chance each time. So it's like super random, super difficult. It's a pain in the ass. It's RNG, but we we started to work towards that. But I did get the trophy for winning uh, or coming in first in ten multiplayer games. So literally all we have to do is finish thirty games, which I should be really close to. And then after that, it's just doing the plinko. And then hopefully, hopefully we can get that done soon. But that's going to be the last thing that I need in this. But that kind of came out of nowhere just because I started up a stream and I was like, I don't really know what to play, um, even though I had like Puppeteer to play. But people were saying like other things. And I was like, oh, wait, what do you guys want to see? And then the price is right is came up and I was like, oh, I mean, I don't really want to, but sure, let's do it. I apologize right now. There's someone taking a shower, so you might hear a little bit more background noise at the moment. So that's where Price is Right came from. Um, then up next, another game that I started. What am I doing, right? I keep starting all these games. I need to finish games. Uh, no, we have Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. So after I did Liberation, I was still kind of on like an Assassin's Creed high, and I was like, oh, I should probably finish up the two other Chronicle games that I haven't done yet, that being India and Russia, because if I want to do all of the Assassin's Creed games, right, for the Chronicles, you have to play through the Chronicle games three times because there's the standalones that you have here. Then PS4 actually has a platinum trophy that you can get in the Chronicle games. And then the Vita also has a platinum trophy that you can get in the Chronicle games as well. Luckily, you can play them on the PS TV. But yeah, I was like, I should probably do some more of these Chronicle games before I start playing other things because after I do like these three Chronicle games, I don't know if I'm going to play like another one on the PS4 or what. But um, I own all of the games. I own all the Assassin's Creed games that I that I want to do, like double up on and all that other stuff. But I am kind of waiting because I really I just I really want them to remaster AC one, because if they remaster AC one, I'm going to play back through the whole series AC one to AC four, I guess, or rogue, I guess. Um, So that's kind of my goal. But after I do Chronicles India and Chronicles Russia, which I don't know if I'll go right into Chronicles Russia, we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I might start working on AC four multiplayer and try to get that done because that's the last multiplayer that I have to do for any of the Assassin's Creed games. So that would be awesome to get done. Then up next, we have MK10. This has just been a constant uh a game that i'm constantly or we've constantly been working on we only had to do a little bit more this weekend and we actually ended up finishing everything up except i need to help waves with a few things but what we were working for this weekend was uh earning 1000 respect points which that came then i won five tower battles and then i um we got the 10 win streak in ranked 1v1 matches completed 200 matches and then the last thing that we did was uh, also did the one DLC trophy for um, winning a ranked 1v1 match without getting a hit combo over four. And then the last thing was, where is it? Um, winning a single tower challenge and sending a tower challenge. So theoretically, I am done with MK10 multiplayer, which I would never thought I would say something like that. But MK10 multiplayer is done, so that was pretty cool, um, and I, I'll talk about what the what the goal is for that coming up, or the other Mortal Kombat games. And then last but not least, we have good old Blood Drive. Um, finally finished the multiplayer in that, so the, the, the only other trophy that we had to get was Untouchable, which was to come in first in five checkpoint race events. That was a little bit of a pain in the ass. But got it done, really no problem at all. And then the last thing that we got was Crash and Burn, which is to kill another player while you're both midair. Again, a little bit annoying how to really set that up. We were scratching our heads for a while, but we found a way that worked. And all in all, um, it wasn't that bad. So now this just comes to, comes down to playing the single player. So maybe it'll be a game that I play on stream, probably, because a lot of this game is literally just beating the... the, the um, blood drive championship and whatever with certain characters there's not really anything um trophy guide worthy i guess you could say so um maybe this will be a stream game i'm not sure there's a lot of trophies that are that are um ultra rares in this game for some reason and really it has like no hundred per, or no platinum achievers like uh, under 100 platinum achievers which is pretty crazy but that's blood drive so anyway that's what i've been playing in the past two weeks 
little bit of a of, of a rant, but let's talk about what I plan on playing in the upcoming week. So in the upcoming week, the goal is on stream, try to finish the puppeteer single player. That's kind of the goal for that. And then start rolling out guides for that. Also in my free time, not on stream, I am going to be trying to finish up Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, rolling out guides for that as well. So maybe those two games will be getting guides soon. I don't know when I want to, but I do want to hop into Far Cry 2 and try to start to make some progress. So that might be something that I actually do like pre-workout when I'm drinking my pre-workout or something. I might just hop into Far Cry 2, play it for like an hour and try to see how much progress I can make or something like that. But that's a game where really I could just sit down and just blast through it as like fast as possible. And like I would have no issues at all. Like I could probably get it done in like a week if I really, really wanted to. But there's some things about that game that are very frustrating. One of them being just like the reliability of your guns. Because if you guys have never played Far Cry 2, good for you. But basically Far Cry 2 is like a super, super realistic game. And your guns can actually break. So it, it's a pain in the ass. And I think that's like the biggest thing that like irritates me about the game is your guns can break. Your guns can jam. It's just so freaking annoying. So I don't know. Again, maybe something that I do in my in my free time, but, but I'm kind of just waiting and seeing. Also guitar hero five. We are planning on getting those last, uh, two trophies that require, um, some people. So that being the playing a song with four drummers. And then I think the other one was like playing a song with four singers or something like that. We're planning on doing that one tomorrow. And then after that, I'm not really sure. Retro has been asking me to do the band challenges for this game. I don't have a problem with that, but I do want to try to finish Band Hero up first because um, Guitar Hero 5 is going to require me to play through the story mode to get those band challenges or, or to uh, have those band challenges pop up essentially. So, um, And that's another thing. In my free time, I want to try to finish Band Hero. I really don't have too much left in it, to be honest. Um, all I have to do is like a few random things and then it's just doing like the challenges in the, uh, single player and then earning all the stars. So it's really not that much. It's just going to come down to me playing the game and, and picking the right instruments and doing the right things. But all in all, it's like not too much. So that's another thing that I want to try to finish. I'll probably do that. Like after I finish, uh, Chronicles India, I'll probably hop into band here, maybe this weekend or something, but I'm not really, um, I'm, I don't know. I'm not banking on it too much. And then the other thing that I'm working on subtly in the background is just Need for Speed Most Wanted. Slowly just AFKing Miles because that's what this game comes down to. So in for the DLC pack one, I have AFKed all the miles I need to for all the cars. So what it comes down to now is just me unlocking a few other um a few other things, a few other upgrades for the cars that just requires me to do like drift and or take people out or stuff like that. So that's really close to being done. I'm going to start AFK in the terminal velocity cars. I actually started AFK in the terminal 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 velocity cars last night. So um, I'm going to continue to AFK those terminal velocity cars. There's five cars in a pack and it takes, I don't know, probably two to three hours to uh, to get to 200 miles. So you can do the math there, but they're not uh, it's not super efficient. Then after that, we only have to do these two other DLCs. But yeah, it, it's slowly coming along. I'm not trying to like push it or anything, but I do want to try to get that done as fast as possible. And then Price is Right, I don't know when I'm going to end up playing that, but hopefully I can try to get it done. And then um, I was talking about MK10. So I was doing MK10 with Brian and, and Waves. We kind of talked and we're like, oh, let's just do all the other MKs uh, together. So I don't know if we're going to be doing MK9 next or MK11 next, but those two are going to be slotted in at some point. Also, we've been talking about doing some other games together, like Ghost Recon Wildlands, I think, is one. So there might be some games that kind of pop up out of nowhere just because if we feel like playing it or we want to play it or something, we um, we might play it. But we're, we're usually pretty good at giving each other some room and like kind of... Um, motivating each other to to finish other games before we start stuff so like i know brian's working really hard on mk10 and i know that he's like working on like finishing up horizon and stuff so i don't want to try to put something out there without him finishing that up i kind of want to give him that room to finish it up because to me i'm a very flexible person if someone comes to me and says they want to do something you know nine out of ten times i'll say yeah let's do it but if i see that someone else is making good progress doing something here or doing something there i usually just let them go and then when they're done making that progress then i might try to slide in or maybe they'll 
you know, talk to me or whatever. But I, I, I basically don't like to be a nuisance. I like to kind of lay low and see what happens. So the other thing that I want to check, oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, here we go. This is the other thing I want to check. So, um, this is all that's left of this list. I don't know how many times I've brought this list up in these videos, and it would be interesting to kind of go back in time and see when I originally started talking about this stuff. But essentially, these are games that I've platinumed, but not 100%. Now, obviously, if you guys are looking at this list, you know that one of these games can't be done. Rest in peace, Uncharted 3. The good thing is I didn't earn any DLC trophies, so, like, it's whatever. And I haven't played the game since 2012 when it came out, so whatever. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. It's whatever. Um, other than that, again, I'm working on Need for Speed Most Wanted right now. That would be great to get done. Uh, it's just a little bit of a grind, but I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% sure I can do it. So that's just going to take some time. The other thing is spin tires um, or mud runner. I, I just call it spin tires. Spin tires uh, is that I have to do that DLC again, not difficult at all. This might be something that I just pull up on the weekend when I'm when I don't really have anything to do or when I finish a game or I finish that, I might just pull up spin tires, knock that DLC out because I'm pretty sure it can be done in three to four hours. And I'm sure I'll enjoy every second of driving that truck at two miles an hour. So finish that up soon. And then you can see the only other game in this or, or, or on this list that needs to be touched after that is Uncharted 4. Why is it always the Uncharted games, man? It's always the Uncharted games. Anyway, Uncharted 4, we did bring this up. Brian brought this up. I don't know if Waves was going to play with us. I know that I have a few other people, uh, i.e. Captain, Cats. There's a, there's, a, there's a good amount of people that want to do Uncharted 4, so I'm not worried about finding people for Uncharted 4. My biggest thing is I really, sometime soon, and I might do it on stream, I really don't know, but I do want to, wow, we're just not loading anything. I do want to kind of level up and get that done because that would be really nice. I don't know what level I am right now. I think I'm like a, a decent level, but yeah, it'd be nice to kind of level up and, and possibly try to get that done um, as soon as possible, really. So anyway, that's kind of like a longer, a longer rant there. Oh, I do want to... I do want to make note of one other thing that I don't know when exactly it'll be popping up. I don't know if it'll be this week or next week or the week after, but uh, there is going to be like a triple XP or something in Star Wars Battlefront 2 in those in that time period at some point. So my goal for that is um, I don't I think I got into like the mid 40s last time we boosted this game. So my goal is for that. Um, to reach rank 50, obviously get that done. Just grind out that level 50, like do what we need to do with in heroes and villains, get that done. And then the other thing that I want to do, and I want to talk about this with the people that we're playing with is I also would like to work and try to get done this bomber trophy. Cause I think that that one is a pain in the ass. Other than that, it's just me playing the game. And I was actually looking at this trophy list the other day. There's not that much stuff to do in the online. Like it's actually surprisingly easy because you just have to do like 25 multiplayer milestones win a match of Starfighter Assault, reach rank 50, then you have to like do, it's like really, really, really easy stuff. And I'm sure when we're boosting XP, people will be like, well, we can boost other things too. Like I'm, I'm sure of it, but it's probably not even worth doing it. Like it's just going to take time. But um, yeah, this might be something that I play as well. Like if I can, if I'm able to get level 50 done and I'm able to get that bomber trophy done, then I might just end up playing this and trying to get this done. Um, it, it's not going to be before the new movie comes out, but, but that would be cool. Um, actually look, there's the, the thread for triple XP and for 14 days. So for two weeks, so two weeks to, to, to get level 50 and get the bomber trophy and possibly try to, uh, to boost these other things because like if I can easily boost these then just do it you know what I mean like I'm not saying that people shouldn't enjoy the game or, th or, or stuff like that but like and, and this is questions that people ask all the time why do you boost the game when you can just play it and get it done yeah I can right there's not an issue of playing it and getting it done it's just the fact of like it's going to take me this long to get it done if I play it legit or I can boost it and get it done in this time and just be more efficient when it comes down to it it's just efficiency to me so um well, I'll, I'll talk about it with uh, the people that I'm playing with, but um, all in all, you know, I was actually looking at this game and I'm just like, this, this is so fucking easy compared to compared to the first one. And uh, I did get the first one done like a while ago. So, yeah, that was um, 
that was like surreal to me because that was just Battlefront One was just a, a game that I never thought I'd platinum, let alone hundred percent. So that was just like such a surreal feeling for me. Um, and then something else. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm down this far. Something else that I might start working on soon, um, or or maybe not working on, but one thing that I want to do. This is like really. This is like from like eight months ago or whatever that I played this game in April. So NBA Live 19. I should try to get these two trophies done just because they are the ultimate team part of the game. And I don't know when that will become become unobtainable. Plus, I need to start working towards this uh, legend status and live run hype as well. I need to find people for that. That's the most annoying part. But um, in in while I'm looking for those people, what I might end up doing is trying to work through NBA Live 18 this might be something that I just purely do like pre-workout or something like this isn't something I'm going to be doing on stream or, or anything ridiculous like that. But this game is just going to come down to me. Just I just need to play the game. That's essentially all I need to do. Just play the freaking game. So playing the game will will get me this platinum because I've literally done everything else that I need to do. I think there's only one more like super annoying thing, which is the uh, all the objectives in the Pro-Am Tour. But I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I'm not super worried about it, but... It's probably something that I should work towards just to get it done because I've done the online and everything and it's just like a sports game and it's like super easy. It just takes a little bit of time. So if I can start chipping away on it, then good for me. But that's a lot of stuff. I just talked about a lot of stuff and I'm probably going to make progress in none of it this week because that's how it usually goes. But um, I think that's all I have to talk about. It's It's been a very eventful last two weeks. I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I plan on getting a lot of stuff done in the next few weeks. Um, expect on seeing, expect on seeing, I, can I talk? Expect on seeing videos on the channel throughout the next few weeks. I know I just put up that uh, Sekiro video or Sekiro video um, the other day. It's been getting a lot of positive feedback. I, I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to be uploading more multiplayer trophy guides, more how to platinums trophy guides. I'm going to be trying to uh, trying to crank through that stuff and I'll be trying to do uh, how to platinums on more relevant games. But I do want to do some quirky PS3 games every once in a while. So if you do see some PS3 games that you don't uh, know or, or you just see games that you don't really know anything about, um, I do apologize. But I am trying to shed some light on some weird games. Um, it's kind of my my specialty is quirky, weird PS3 games, if you guys haven't noticed that one already. But I've been enjoying making all those videos and everything, so uh, I'm going to obviously continue to do them. So, so continue to uh, look out for them on the channel. Anyway, this is going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down in the description below. You'll find links to all types of stuff. My Twitter, where I post some stuff my Twitch where I live stream platinum trophies and playing through games and random other things every once in a while, a few times a week, you'll find a link to all the platinums that I've earned in the past few years. So if you want to go check any of those out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're watching any of those videos and you want to know how to platinum any of those games that I've gotten a platinum in, then uh, be sure to let me know and I will add it to the list on the How to Platinum because I do have a running list of the games that I want to do for my How to Platinum. And when someone requests something, I bump it right up to the top. So please do let me know if you want to see anything like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, if, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.